GoPro, check. All right, tubes, we're gonna, I'm gonna set this here for now. We're gonna talk a little bit. Just get ready to head out to go to do a brick job, which you guys are gonna hang out with me on. Uh, working on a 95 Explorer. It needs front brakes. We're doing brake rotors and pads and calipers. Um, I'm just making sure I have everything I think I need for that job. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna go load up in the car, make sure I have everything again, and then uh, head out. All right, tubes. That's not bad. Which isn't bad. I went to AutoZone first, and and I bought the. No, I bought the. Um... Oh, these rocks will make you shake at highway speed. Really? Get, I'll get those up. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh... Glad you bought rotors. Yeah, they're trash. Ah, uh, yeah, the dust seal on this. Yeah. No, I'm just probably would want to think about calipers in the future. Okay. This dust boot is getting ripped. <laughs> My mom went in the service so she can get away from her mom. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Come on, don't get no dirt in there. Well, of course that falls off. Oh, that's right. And tubes, don't forget the keeper. <laughs> I, I, I got it. I got it out no problem on the other side. Ah. I almost need a pick. There we go. It's threatening to rain. Sprinkling a little bit. Okay, now that I got that loose, we can work on getting this knockout, which is conveniently already halfway there. Fairly new, that was a replacement. back in there. Well, 
what I've been doing is ugh, I get it up to a certain point and then I use the caliper as a guide to hold this in. So, ooh. Um, yeah. Yikes. Um, holy shit, man. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh man, oh yeah, she's all wore out right on the end. Um, I'm not liking that. Yeah, okay, I think we should replace that. I'm gonna hang it right on the end here. I need to get my yellow jack under here. the cops again. <laughs> that that got blue. Okay. So that's I want all this to be kind of together. I know how this all goes. That's for the front. That was the front brake pad, and that was the rear. And I'm going to knock that seal out. So I'll just set that like that. So what I do, just clean this up real good. And then, get all this off the wheel there. And what I did the last time, I stuck my socket down like that, put this across and just put something like that. And these seals were replaced some time ago. So we're gonna reuse that. And the bearings are good too. I'm gonna brake clean this when I'm done handling it because I need to uh, we're going to be greasing it and um, setting the preload on it. Yeah, and this has a phenolic uh, piston on the side. I don't like the phenolic pistons. They give us a real soft brake pedal. She's got a steel one on the other side, which is good. Um, so we're going to see if we can get a steel one for this side, and that's what we'll do. Yes, these, I think she said these were 45 a piece. Come with new wheel studs, new tone ring. So it's got ABS, not twin I beam with ABS, isn't that weird? Okay, so what I'm gonna do next, take our seal and wipe it off. I'll get it ready. Uh, the new bearing looks alright. Not new bearing, but 
You guys know what I mean. I'll just cut it with fresh grease. Probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to buy new wheel bearings too and just do all repacked bearings and it's supposed to rain pretty good today, but it, it never did. Glad it didn't. Just pack that in with some more grease. This is just cut it actual better instead of doing grease. What I've actually been wanting to do is put Loctite on the bearing. Oh. <clears throat> Still need this apparently. Put Loctite on the wheel bearing so that way it has it can chew on something rather than the spindle when it gets loaded up and starts flexing the spindle. Because evidently that does flex. Okay. Alright, we'll take the outer bearing. I'm not really packing it, I'm just it's already packed with grease. I'm just gonna coat it with some fresh. Kind of hold her in place. Okay. So what we'll do is I thought this was going to be much harder and take more, even more time, but this has actually ended up being a pretty straightforward um, job, other than having to replace this caliper on the other side. Thought it was going to take longer, and that hub here is going to need a new O-ring. It's got auto hubs. You know, it's just. You know, most people would be like, auto hubs, but you know, it's, you know, she's, <laughs> doesn't need manual locking hubs. It's not, uh, not exactly, a, it's just a, it's just a daily. It's be kind of a waste. So, what I'm looking for, right now it's all kinds of sloppy. I'm just going to tighten it up. I'm going to tighten it up to a certain point. I'm going to kind of tighten it and then spin it. Let it resettle. Right now we have no play. So I'm going to snug it down a tiny bit. That's pretty good. You don't want it too tight because you'll burn up the bearings. I'm gonna go a little bit tighter. Like that. Okay. Nice and smooth too. Not gritty. So now there's this little keeper guy. He has to be able to go back in there. So probably what we'll have to do is, since we went in a little bit tight, we can back it off a tiny bit. Go forward a little bit. There's little slots. Feels 
pretty good. No play. I'm gonna see if I can get this to go a little bit further over. Back it off a tiny bit. Oh, come on, get back in there. There we go. We'll call that good. Make sure there's no play. It feels like it's turning in honey. I'm gonna can't spin that by hand. The other one on the other side, which I've already done, just so I can know how to do this. Oh, it was all kinds of floppy. Um, you just gotta tighten it up so it's a little tight and you back it off a tiny bit until you can get that in there. And seems pretty good. These are old bearings, so they're all kind of settled in. Yeah. I'm going to roll with that. Okay, it's time for the auto hub. Get the hair out of there. So has a little nub right here. Goes in at the top. <clears throat> this whole thing's kind of flexible and spring-loaded. That's why they break. They're not meant for heavy off-road use. There's no dirt on that. And we're not leaving anything behind. Okay. Okay, that's going to be that. I don't like this caliper. I just I don't I don't trust it. I think it's I think it's what, what's going to happen is I'm going to go compress that and it's just going to it's going to walk up. Alrighty, tubes, we're back here. I'm going to see if I can just do this with it. I'm going to leave that over there for right now. Okay, it's nice and clean. We got our new caliper here. This is 20 bucks. 20 bucks for a new one. Came with new hardware. God damn it. almost doesn't want to stay in there. I'm almost starting to think that... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think that would have worked anyways. Okay. So that one goes in like that, and then this guy goes in like this. So I was trying to get the... Uh, a metal piston caliper, but uh, they don't have a metal piston caliper, or at least at AutoZone they didn't. So that is the factory one. So that's what the factory had there. We'll run that there. So screw it. Uh, don't need 
don't need that anymore. We got brand new ones. So these kind of That'll slide around as needed. So is this the same size? I'm using a 7 16 on this. It is. Okay, I'm gonna save that for her. We're gonna make a little bit of a mess here. I actually got the towel right there. Let's see, what size? Nine sixteenths. <laughs> this has got new copper washers. This comes with a new banjo bolt and copper washers. Be able to put that in hand by hand, but I guess I can't. <sighs> that looks a lot better. We should, probably should have just got new caliper for the other side, but that's okay. That one uh, collapsed pretty easily. Snug it up, call it a day. That's gonna leak a little bit. Keep it those all brake pads, look at that. Now what we'll do, we'll take this, put it on there. I'm probably going to go around the other side and pump it. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pump this up until fluid starts to flow. And then, uh, I'll close it off and get it to where it'll clamp down on that whole assembly. And then get it to where we maintain a tight brake pedal and then we should be good to go. Both sides have new rotors and pads. New caliper on that side. I think that one there was replaced at one point. It was look halfway decent. But yeah. I got this side bled pretty easily and we're kind of on an on an on a like an incline, so. This side bled out pretty easily. Um, I just let it sit there and 
dribble until I didn't see any air. So um, got the wheel torqued down now. And then I just spun it by hand just to make sure it wasn't uh, running out or anything. And so it's actually fully bolted to the spindle or the uh, rotor there. So yeah, we should be good to go. I'm going to start it up and make sure her brake pedal is not spongy because sometimes you want to start it up and put power to the brakes just so you can make sure it's not spongy. But uh, I think that's it. Um, I don't know what else she wants done to this, but I'm sure she'll call me whenever she needs me. So there'll be a video on it in the future if we have to do any repairs or, or even maintenance. So, uh, yep. Anyways, thanks for watching, tubes.